variation that's too funny need to fix that hi Denny Dina Dina hi Catherine so I take this in a few minutes beginning to share and share away so let me share on this as well how do I share Stephanie, just trying to share this. Hi, Jeff. Let me copy this link. I'm putting it on my page here. Share this. So take a moment to share. Great. Just keep sharing. And let me do more sharing from this. Okay, leave this page. Hi, Michelle. So, how is everybody's new week? Let me share this to the group. So yeah, give me some hearts, give me some love, type in something that you are grateful for today. Interesting. Type down something you are grateful for today, this week. What are you grateful for? I'm just typing in. I'm just going to do some more sharing here. Hey, how's community? How are you? Grateful got to talk with hymns today, hermits today, grateful to be healthy and safe. Anything else you are grateful for? I got to visit the monastery today and just got to clean up the pathway there i create a beautiful pathway there a nature walk in the forest it got a little overgrown for the last three months so i got to visit brought my clipper and did some clipping pick some sage and gonna bundle some sages those who wish to purchase sage from the holy place let me know so I'm going to bundle some sage. Great for your breathing. Great for clearing negative energy. It's have a lots and lots and lots of benefit with sage. Anyway. Okay. Let's take a seat. Hi, Kiona. Welcome back. Yeah, it's really nice. I went to collect some sage. They're like growing wild everywhere along the path. So I was just clearing just like pretty much clearing the path and just removing the sage from the pathway only did a little bit that's enough for a bag and it was and then I got my sharp awesome clippers so I got to do a lot of clipping there was a lot of grow overgrowing branches so this path I helped create it is actually between it's inside a manzanita forest which some of them might grow under others taller than me, but it's just really nice just to walk the secret path. Originally it was a deer path. We kind of expand it, make it wider. Good, you clean up your den for Halloween. And Christmas boxes move out of into the shed for summer story. Yeah, I I know, it reminded me I still have Christmas angels sitting in my garage that need to be 
deactivate it <laughs> undo and box them back so yes i still have some of those and i still got my snow gear that never got used in the garage that need to be moved back into the shed as well so yes there's uh, endless projects but it was fun i got the side of my house clear up so did a little bit of pathway so yeah so just doing things that you love made another probably about 10 masks today ready to go out for donation but yes just focusing on just focusing on things that you enjoy doing when you start the day doing things that you enjoy yes i enjoy very much visiting the temple grounds just the pleasantness, the peacefulness of it when you start your week like that you kind of set tone for the rest of the day start set up for the week so um but yes yeah, so that's a message today is doing things that you love and love what you do to start your day so as you start your day just like choose things that you enjoy doing to set the pace i know some people they will tackle things that is the most difficult for them first so they can get it out of the way however it works for you i like doing things that make me enjoyable and having fun with it so that's how i set up my days Anyway, it's 8.09. Let's go ahead and do some sitting meditation. How are you guys doing? How are you guys going with the meditation? Do you need me to guide you? I'll, I'll guide you the first couple minutes. And today, let's tune in to... We can just focus on our breath. And just tune into it as you pay the attention to your breath and bring your attention to your heart. You're pretty much a home. You kind of remind yourself, this is a nice, quiet time for me. Kind of like reminding yourself that, hey, this is my time. And anything that is not related to slowing down, observing your breath, you can just let it go all right okay so take some nice deep breath now take a nice deep breath in and breathe out another deep breath in settling down getting comfortable and out another deep breath in And breathe out. You can do a good 10 breath. Sometimes they say three, but I feel sometimes when you breathe in deep, 10 deep breath, it can really reset your breathing. Because often when you stress out, you revert back to breathing more shallow up here. When you conscientiously take nice deep breath, you tend to more abdominal breathing, which is more healthier for you. And by even just go a little further, like 10 breath, help you to reset your breathing. And afterwards, you don't need to even think about it. You don't have to worry about it. It's kind of set on its own pace. And you can just merely observing your breath, having the awareness of the rise and fall, the depth of your own breath, everything to do with your breath. Let's focus on our meditation today is on your breath. And just totally bring your attention to it. And I want you to particularly pay more attention to the quality of your breath, noticing the depth of it, and just observe it. Don't have to judge. There's no good, no bad. There's just is at the moment. 
and start to thank you for the breath. Without breathing, you will not be sitting here for too long. So thanking your lungs. Your heart that pumped the oxygen around. Your upper breathing, whether your nose, your mouth. Take the breath there in. Appreciating the oxygen that is readily available to us appreciating the trees that produces oxygen for us appreciating our overall health that's allowed us to breathe and noticing everything that's associated to your breath and start to give gratitude to your breath that carries life with it help you circulate oxygen throughout your body that fuel and nourishes all your organs all part of your body Thank you for the breath. Without the breath, there's no life. Without life, this world would know existence. So your presence, your life, what's create this world. And it's not often that we pay particular attention to our breath or even thinking it. This part of us that really helps to keep life, give you life. And thanking to all the organs that really help you work together circulating, taking in air, moving oxygen around, nourishes your body. And we just simply say thank you. And sitting with this breath, and just observing the rise and fall of your chest, abdomen, feeling just love for yourself, feeling peace, as you start to feel simple peace, your energy can start shifting for those around you, your environment, your neighborings, your travels. And continue to focus, allowing, observing your breath. And just deeply give gratitude to it. And just feeling that love and compassion for yourself. The fact that you are here. You matter. You're worth it. And you are enough. Continue to observe and any thoughts that arises, acknowledge it, 
and simply let it go. sending this collective energy to all those who are struggling, suffering, sending this compassion, loving, peaceful energy to all of you. Around the globe, beyond this universe, all the living beings Take some nice deep breath. deep hurt and sadness in the world that I could feel. I'm just releasing it all. I'll give your neck a few stretches. Do this for five times. And you make a right turn, left turn, right turn two, right turn three, right turn four, right turn five, one tucking your chin in. Right. And then you can open, release your hands. Tree still up and fireplace still decorated. Okay, I'm doing pretty good for moving all the Christmas stuff out. And the ears. 
And remember as you are massaging, paying particular attention to everything that you're feeling, hearing, sensing, sensation. <laughs> this is as much as part of the meditation as the quieting of the mind, helping you to practice being present in every movement that you do. Behind your neck. And then you can put your left hand on your right shoulder, right hands on your under armpit, up and down five times. This way. And one right hand on your upper chest and left hand in the back, back and forth five times. And then under your, on your ribcage, under your ribcage five times and below and around your belly button, back and forth. And then for those who are stiff, you can just rub behind your kidney points here, lower back, up and down. And then from your waist down to your thighs. And for those who are new that are watching, feel free to go back into this page. There are over 60 evening of meditation. You can just pick up a night to sit along and know that sometime you can't make it to the live. You can always rewatch some of the video. We have made many recordings of all sorts of meditation. Find one that's resonate with you. Whether it's counting your breath, whether it's observing your thoughts, whether it's centering meditation, whether it is body scanning, we'll go back to the body scanning tomorrow as well. There's different forms of meditation, mindful practice, and the key thing is to really help you to practice mindfulness. And if there's one meditation you resonate more than the other, that's okay. Whatever resonates with you. Hey, Miss Dana, how are you? So whatever resonates with you, there are 60 recordings, like I said. They're free on this page, so scroll through them. Sometimes they're an hour long, most times they're 30 minutes. There's fire release meditation that you can also watch along. I think it was two nights ago we did a full moon release that was powerful. So you can go back to watch those as well. You're welcome, Miss Catherine. And if you like to meditate and enjoy this, share this with your friends. Share this with someone that is struggling right now with stress, that can't get focused. Get them to come and sit along. Good. Experience healing for yourself. Yes. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. So thank you for the hearts and thank you for showing up for yourself. And hi, Mandy. And by showing up for yourself, you are making a difference in the, this world. Because when we can have one more person who is at peace, the world will be at peace. The world will practice more kindness and mindfulness. When we're in that place of mindful practice, practicing kindness, there's no room for anger, there's no room for frustration, there's no room for resentment. And there is forgiveness meditation on these last 60 plus days as well. Feel free, there's three days of that you can go through, whether it's a forgiveness in four directions or honopono, many ways to forgive however you resonate with um, sitting with those, sitting with those. Perhaps there is some 
burning desire you need to release and just nothing helps so far. Just re-watch one of those videos and sit along with it just to lighten up your load, lighten up your heart so you can have more love and compassion in your heart. And thank you, Namaste, for showing up for yourself because you can make a difference. Bye for now. Take care. Hi, Mandy. Have a wonderful evening. I hope your headaches are gone now, by now, Mandy. And uh, I'm glad you are showing up for yourself. And thank you so much. Take care. Bye for now.